Okay, so I have to share the experience that I had today because I feel it's very important for many different reasons. But our dryer broke, so I had a bunch of laundry that I had to go dry. And the Lord took me to a laundromat that was in not the best part of town. And I didn't know why I was there. So I walked in and I put my clothes in the dryer and I still didn't know why I was there. And all of a sudden, this young woman caught my eye. And I felt like instantly, like the Lord said, she is why you're here. And I said, okay. So I was standing there doing my laundry and I quietly was kind of singing under my breath because that's all I do is sing. And the Lord said, go approach her. And I had no idea what I was going to say. So I go up to approach her and she's strung out on drugs. And I knew right away because I could hear some of the things that she had walked through. And I walked up to her and I began to talk to her and she couldn't stop talking. So she's talking, 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 talking over me. And I couldn't even get a word in edgewise. So I'm standing there and I'm just kind of praying under my breath like, Lord, I just need to hear your voice. Like, what do you want me to do? And he said, listen. So I began to listen to her. And the bottom line is, is that she's on drugs. She was brought here and she's living with these men that don't even speak English. And they have killed people. And she has pimps and she's selling her body for drugs. And she kept saying to me, I mean, I don't want to do this, but you know, I, I have to do this. And yeah, and she's talking and talking and talking and I'm just listening. And I felt like the Lord said, just listen. And the more I listen to her story, then I, I'm praying because I'm like, you know, what can I do? And the Lord said, Mandy, I brought you here tonight because you're going to sing to her. And I just want to tell you, how scary is that to think, okay, so I'm just going to start singing in a laundromat, right? And I didn't even know what song I was supposed to sing, and I couldn't get her attention, you know, because of the drugs. I mean, she's da 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 So I... I look at her, I get really close to her eyes, and I look her dead in her eyes, and I said, He has come, and He is here, right now, today. And she said, Who? And I said, You know who, because you asked to see Him. And she said, Oh, no, 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 I, I haven't believed in Him. I haven't, you know, you're talking about God, aren't you? And I said, Yes, I am. And I said, he came to be with you today. He brought me here. And she said, who are you? How did you know that I was here? And I said, he told me to come here. And she made me tell her my, my name. And she looked at me and she said, but, but I haven't believed in him. And I said, he's not interested if you've believed in him. But he believes in you and he loves you. And he brought me here to sing a song to you. And guys, at this point, I still didn't know what song I was going to sing. But I was also like in awe that, that God loves us enough that he comes in the middle of a situation and he will send someone on assignment because that's how much he loves us. And as she's telling me these things, the Lord said, I want you to tell her that I'm proud of her and she is pure. And I looked at her and I said, God said to 